Hello Junkies, my name is Bob, and I'd like to welcome you to another review here on AFJ. Today, we will not be reviewing Three Migos. I'm sorry if that's what you're excited about, or that excited you. We will not be reviewing Three Migos. In fact, I just thought I'd bring out some two uh, very favorite Migos of mine right now, is the Star Child from Kiss, Paul Stanley, and we also have Leonard Nimoy's Mr. Spock from Star Trek. These two have been very hard to find. Um, I've only ever seen Spock once. Obviously, I got him the one time that I found him. Um, saw P Paul Stanley numerous times, but I decided that I was going to keep all four of the Kiss action figures in their package because I like them that much. But, however, Mr. Spock is a personal favorite of mine for when I went as a kid because I actually had Spock and Kirk, and this, unfortunately, my original Spock ended up uh, shredded to bits. So, I thought today we would review the latest Mego. Now, obviously, those two are from 2018. Bruce Lee is from 2019. It is a brand new figure. Um, a little bit harder to find than the first wave of Mego figures that we had last year. As in, they're no longer a Target exclusive. So, they're kind of all over the place. They're out there somewhere. You need to find them. You need to go to an uh, online toy store such as I did. I ordered this from Entertainment Earth and get your figures. I've had to actually order my last two figures. Well, my, my previous figure, this one, obviously, and the last one I got that I did a review on, Nosferatu, from Entertainment Earth. Um, I've seen them at comic book stores from time to time, but their prices are a little bit higher. And then I understand at comic book stores that's going to happen. But... Uh, Entertainment Earth has them at a very reasonable price. Uh, I believe they bounce around the $12.99 category. And that's what they were at Target. So I kind of feel like that's the price point in which I feel comfortable buying Amigo. So let's get to Bruce Lee today. The reason why I wanted this figure was, one, Bruce Lee is awesome. Loved him, um, you know, in Enter the Dragon, obviously. Plus, he is a legend, which is awesome that they put this. And that's what part of the category he is in is legends. Um... Now, we do have a picture of Bruce Lee here on the back. We have his autograph. It's a great package. And then we have a trivia. How many movies did Bruce Lee appear in as an actor through his entire career? So, he was a... Let's see here. This is always interesting to me. So, 20 as a child star and 6 as, as an adult. So, Bruce Lee was in a lot more films than I guess we realize. Um, as you see, we do have... That was the Marty trivia. Marty Abrams trivia, which is always here on the back. Um... I actually got to interview Marty at Toy Fair in New York City, so I'll post a link to that here. And with that, uh, I was able to see this figure actually for the first time. So we do have now, it, it isn't the Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee, but Enter the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, Enter the Dragon, Enter the Dragon. If you've seen Enter the Dragon, you know this is the Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee, which is really cool. Um, all the Mego figures, of course, are numbered, and we've got 5,099, so it kind of makes me want to hold on to it and not open it. Usually their production run is about 10,000. Um, I don't really think the numbers mean as much. I'm sure if you had number one or the year that the Enter the Dragon came out, or if you had a Star Trek one, it was 1701, you know, it would be worth holding on to. Um, but with this, we want to open these figures. We want to see what they're like. We want to see how they endure. I mean, I was excited about this when I saw it. As soon as they announced it, you know, Bruce Lee was going to have an action figure again. You know, I, I really wanted this. So to keep it in a pack for all time seems kind of lame to me. Um, we're not going to do that today. And it's easier to store them once I open them up. So goodbye, clean package. Now, we've got Bruce out. He's in the plastic coffin. Now, he is an 8-inch figure, and he does have 14 points of articulation. So, we have lots of joints, and they are very poseable, which is I'm very impressed with um, that Mego has done. So, he's out. Now, we'll give him a quick smell test. No, nope, this smells brand new. Now, this was something, I'm going to start with the back. This was something I was very interested in, because almost every Mego figure has a Mego tattoo on the back. But this is one of the very few new, it may be the only one, that's shirtless. So I didn't think they'd put the Mego tattoo here on the back. So, Bruce, if you forgive me, it's on his butt. So if we zoom in here, well, not zoom in, but if we focus there, the Mego tattoo is on the butt. Now, pants are very high. The cloth material that they do on these figures is amazing, but we, we have to do an instant pose. 
Bruce does come with a rubber band around the nunchucks to help him hold it in his hand. So I'm going to leave that on because I like that and it keeps the it keeps the figure from uh, from losing his weapon. But it's kind of hard to to say that that is not an awesome Bruce Lee action figure. Wow. So we do have some posability here. I don't think I can. I'd really like to be like you know getting the arm back here with the nunchucks, but the nunchucks are very cool. We do have socks and clothes and little shoes, and these shoes are a lot better than the Greg Brady shoes that uh, we touched on earlier. They they fall off. He Greg Brady sits on my desk actually, um, hoping to custom uh, I customize him into a, a uh, Magnum PI, but we'll do a close up here on his face and his scars. Or scratches. So these are really cool. I was kind of wondering if they'd paint them on or if they would just uh, got a slight, just a very slight paint smudge right there. Very slight. Just a little bit. Um, but the here on the face, these are incredible. And look at this likeness of Bruce Lee. It is a great likeness of the figure. Uh, posability is great. You know, I, clearly you would need one of his arms, one of those plastic arms. To get him to do some funkier things but let's see the balance here so if you're Bruce Lee can you get him to stand on one foot and while I'm doing that can I keep it in focus for like two seconds it for like a half a second it did it That would be incredible. Not quite as balanced as the new Marvel Legends Beast figure, but ooh, I get it for like a half a second. Now I know that Migo, who just had their recent meetup, has a lot of new figures coming out. And one of which uh, they announced that they're going to be doing Lord of the Rings figures, Rocky, and the Mummy is going to be joining the Monster line. But it's interesting to hear Marty talk about it because he he really does do a great discussion about price points and keeping things cost effective. And that is not something that a lot of people like discuss out loud or even like toy collectors are getting smarter now and they're starting to understand why things aren't done the way that they are all right so that was a not quite a futile attempt but a, a, an interesting attempt and need one of those little plastic arms to hold them there so there we have bruce lee and i thought for fun it'd be great to compo uh, compare him to my other recent acquisition in the migo line nosferatu so this would be Almost like the legend of the seven golden vampires. If Max Shrek, I'm sorry, if <laughs> if Max Shrek and Bruce Lee were in it. So no complaints here, junkies. This Bruce Lee figure is amazing. Highly recommend it if you can pick him up. Um, he is available, as I said, I got mine through Entertainment Earth. I do have a video posted on, on our Instagram account of how they shipped him to me. There was no additional cost. Um, and he is a solid, solid figure and a great addition to your movie line. I love movies. I love toys. When these two things can come together, it's a, it's a no, it's a, I, I don't lose. It's a no, it's a no loss situation for me. So glad to have Bruce Lee in the collection and I'm interested to see what other characters and things that I can pose him with. Um, thank you for tuning in, junkies, and you have an excellent day.